Okay, little disclaimer before starting this video. If you're an animal rights activist, you can uh, turn it off because we're going to talk about foie gras today and the good pairing between foie gras and wine. Alors, foie gras, it's made out of ducks. Alors, yes, you do force feed a little bit your, your ducks or your geese to do, to make it. You add, um, you, you insert corn in their mouth. But recent scientific studies show that actually when they're done uh, being force fed, the, um, the, the ducks or the geese come, go back and eat some more, meaning they are actually very happy uh, being force fed. So that's the response, the official response for the French. Um, our foie gras, you find it a lot in the southwest of France, in the Périgord region, you find it also in Alsace quite a lot. Um, alors, it's very traditional for the holiday season, you have to have foie gras, it's absolutely superb. You have this unique texture, it's kind of fat, but it's kind of really good too. Um, alors, in terms of wine, well, there's several options. Um, if you serve foie gras, a little toast of foie gras um, as an aperitif, you can try with champagne. And the champagne will put the little bubbles, will lift up your, your foie gras, that will work. Go for like a champagne rosé, for instance, if you go, I don't know, Laurent Perrier rosé, that's kind of good. Um, voilà. Another option, white wine. Uh, white wine is the pairing, and within like, there's one pairing which is the most like the pairing that every single French person knows about in, in terms of food and wine pairing is foie gras and sauterne. Okay, sauterne, sauterne. Uh, uh, this, uh, which is a sweet wine, a sweet wine which comes from the Bordeaux area, uh, Sémillon predominantly, a bit of Sauvignon Blanc and a bit of Muscadelle as well. So it's a sweet wine. And the tricky part when you go sweet wine and foie gras is that this little baby here is very sweet, foie gras is very sweet, so you don't want something with just an addition of sugar, that's not gonna work, okay? So you need um, a certain acidity Good news though, sweet wines are the most um, acidic uh, wines out there. You don't taste the acidity, but there's a lot of acidity in this little thing. So be it for our Montbazillac, which is a good, cheaper alternative to, to Sauterne. Well, in this, there's a shitload of acidity, uh, which is really good news um, because it will allow for the, the foie gras to be lifted up and not to collapse on the sugar, okay? So uh, you want this. So if you want um, to go with a sweet wine, I would recommend not going with something uh, too young, a sweet wine. Give it some time for the sugar to calm down a little bit. Don't give it too much time so the acidity doesn't disappear. But you know, go for a sweet wine, which is four, five, six, seven years old. Um, you will really uh, greatly benefit from, from this. Uh, Sauterne or Montbazillac, are an option. You can also go if you want a bit more minerality. Uh, you can go with some sweet wines from the Loire Valley, uh, Coteau du Léon, Chaume, Quart de Chaune. Uh, that's really lovely. Try also with um, uh, like a, a late harvest, a Gewurztraminer from Alsace, things like this will really be uh, quite uh, superb. If you don't like sweet wines too much, you can give it a shot with the reds, huh? big reds, huh? big reds. Um, watch out with the reds. You need wines that will leave room for the, the texture and the aromas of the foie gras to express themselves, okay? If you go with a big red, which is overly tannic, really overly aggressive, you might just cover your thing, okay? So go with something which is fairly gentle. So if you go with a big red from, you know, big uh, Zen from California, big uh, wine from the southwest of France, cow, things like this, give them a few years uh, as well for the tannins to, to soften really gently. Uh, you have all the op these options. The traditional one is really the, um, the, the Sauterne and Foie Gras. Um, provided you go with sufficient acidity and we said the problem is that this pairing is just like so massive you know like you have a very rich wine you have foie gras so it's like having a big like um you know it's a, it's a sex uh, sex uh, it's an orgasm in your palate so but usually foie gras you have this as an appetizer so if you start dinner with the orgasm well, that leaves like uh, dating and foreplay for the rest of the dinner, so you're in trouble, okay? So my recommendation is doing something a bit original. We used to be done in France a, a few centuries back, which we no longer do, um, is actually moving the foie gras as an entremet. So you move this between cheese and dessert, and like this, you can go with your lovely uh, sauterne and, um, and foie gras pairing. And so you go up nicely, you do a little dating pairing, then you go a little foreplay uh, pairing, and then boom, there you go with the orgasm pairing with the foie gras. And then you can continue uh, later on, finish up your dessert. You can finish up your bottle of, of sweet wine with dessert, or you can move to a digestif, um, no problem. And this, not only will it be really pleasurable for your palate, but it will also uh, make you look like the, the very, uh, uh, delicate and sophisticated person, the real gourmet that you are, 
I'm sure you are that person because you're watching WineRendezvous.com. Voilà, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, happy holiday season to all of you. And um, well, I'm off to Alsace in a couple of days, so next videos will be shot in Alsace. Allez, ciao.